This is a Game Caviar production. And here it is. Black Ops 2. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. This is the only match in Black Ops 2 that I was able to get into. And I was lucky for that. I tried for at least 30 to 35 minutes to get another match. Somehow the matchmaking... Or the, I don't even know what this matchmaking or what, but the uh, team balancing mechanism seems to be a little bit off. Everybody just got the game, of course. So, the majority of people that I've encountered online are underneath uh, level 10 and below. What happens is the room will get full of people normally uh, in the same level, 10 and below. Normally between 1 and 5. I'm a level 4 right now. And the game will just sit there and it will give you the uh, need more players to balance teams. I was lucky enough to get into this match and I played the whole match. Some of the things that I've noticed in this game, immediately starting this game. Actually, you know what? I got into two matches, but the other one, I got uh, I had to quit because I got an invite. But anyway, some of the things that I noticed about this game. It seemed like it's really in slow motion to me and that could be because I was playing Halo 4 so much the past couple days that this is since it's such a different pace of game then it might just be that uh, I'm just not used to it another thing this game doesn't seem as crisp as I thought it would the the graphics seem to be cut down a little that's not a bad thing per se but it's definitely not something that I had expected to see in a game maybe I need to tweak some settings go in and, and bump up the sharpness if they let you do that I don't think it's my TV because I haven't touched my my television settings and every other game looks exactly the same to me it could just be this game the graphics don't look bad they just look uh, what is it they, they kind of not blurry, but they're not as crisp as, a, as I expected them to be. Maybe I had my expectations too high. Some of the good things that I noticed about this game. The hit detection seems to be on. It doesn't... It, Black Ops had a problem with hit detection. So far in this game, I have not had that issue with hit detection. There was one gun-on-gun -gun battle that I had with a guy in this match that I died and I thought that he should have died I thought that maybe I was gonna come out of that match uh, or that that one-on-one uh, -on -one battle the victor but I didn't that's not I don't know whether that was because maybe his gun had a faster fire rate than mine I don't know I haven't I haven't experienced any lag so that guy I don't know that guy came out of nowhere uh, that was the only instance of that happening. I, I have not had any major issues in the one and a quarter matches that I've played in this game. This is Hijack, the, the small map on the boat. I haven't played Nuketown 2025. I don't know what this even... I, I, don't, I haven't even seen it implemented in the game. But see right there, it seems like the hit detection is really good in this game. And that that's a plus. And... They went from, what is it? They went from the old matchmaking to a uh, peer-to-peer system. So that probably has something to do with it. I, I'm not, I don't know. I, I have no idea how that works out. The gun, the sounds, it, it sounds good. I like the way that the sounds are. But Treyarch is already, they're generally really good at implementing gun sounds properly into video games. So uh, that wasn't one of my biggest uh, worries. One of my, see that? that I like that. One of the um, one of the things that I was really worried about was the hit detection and the, uh, the 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 matchmaking. So as of right now, if I can get into more matches and actually see what's going on, I can get a a, a better idea of the game and how it's going to work throughout. Because you know they can put out uh, patches and whatnot, so, and they probably will. I, I expect Treyarch too because they honestly they they come off like they care about. The, the people who play the game so 
as the game progresses, I, uh, I I'm gonna get a, a better understanding of it. And if you have any input on your initial thoughts about this game, please let me know because that's um that's a big thing that I like about my channel is that I like interacting with the caviars and the caveats. So if you guys have this game, if you went to the midnight release and uh, let me just uh, uh, what is it? Let me just go off of that for a second. I went out to the midnight release at GameStop, and this is probably the last time I'm, I'm going to do a midnight release at GameStop. I love the employees that are up there. They're cool as hell. I'm not going to stop shopping there, but I live literally two minutes away from a Walmart that stays over 24 hours. I don't need to go to GameStop midnight release for video games. One of the things that GameStop had over Walmart is the fact that GameStop did the midnight release and they had the games uh, that you could pre-order and you got cool stuff for them. But now Walmart has started doing pre-orders. I, I don't know whether this is nationwide, but I know definitely here where I'm at, they have started doing pre-orders. So that that's where I'm going to be at from now on. It's no line. You just go up there, get your game and you go home. But this GameStop had about 50 or 60 people outside. They had to break us up into groups and I almost didn't get the game because I had forgot my receipt. So I was lucky enough that the guy recognized me and he was like, yeah, I, I rung him out earlier and it's in the computer too. So here we are. Let me know uh, what you think about this game if you have it and we'll discuss it. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.